Welcome to Let's Get to the Marks. Going through a mega hard relative atomic mass question today. Let's go. Okay, the first part of this question is nice and easy. So this question is about atomic structure. Question six from an AQA chemistry paper. Uh, define the mass number of an atom. Well, we know that's the number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. Nice and easy, one mark. Beautiful. Right, now below we've got a table. Complete the table below to show the numbers of neutrons and electrons in the species shown. We've got two isotopes, titanium-46 and titanium-49, 2 plus, below that. So for titanium-46, it's got 22 protons. Do the mass number minus the protons, and we find we've got 24 neutrons. We know that in a normal neutral atom, protons and electrons are equal. They cancel out. One's positive, one's negative. So we've got 22 electrons. In titanium-49 here, we've got 22 protons. So 40 minus 49 minus 22, there's 27 neutrons. So this is an isotope. However, it's also an ion as well as an isotope. It's a, got a two plus charge. So how many electrons? Well, instead of 22 electrons, it's going to have 20 electrons, giving it an overall two plus charge. Right, let's move on to the mega hard bit of this relative atomic mass question. A titanium a sample of titanium contains four isotopes, 46, 47, 48, and 49. The sample has an RAM of 47.8. In the sample, there's a ratio of abundance of isotopes, 46, 47, and 49 is 2, 2, 1. Um, calculate the percentage abundance of 46. So we know that 46, 47, and 49 have an abundance ratio of 2, 2, 1. We don't know the abundance ratio of 48. So really, uh, let's make 48y. So 48 times y, y is the abundance of 48. So we're going to set out the equation like this. 46 times 2, 47 times 2. Uh, we're going to add that to 48 times y, because we don't know the abundance of 48. And then we're going to add that to the abundance of 49, which is 1. And this means we need to divide this by the total abundance. So what's the total abundance? Well, if we add together 2, 2, and 1, we get 5. And we've also got y hanging around there, which is the unknown abundance of 48. Remember in this question, so we're going to write 5 plus y at the bottom here for the total abundance. But remember in this question, we're trying to find the percentage of 46. Right now, we know its abundance ratio is 2. We need to simplify this expression. So we can simplify this to 48y plus 235 by adding together 46 times 2 and 47 times 2 and 49. We make 235. And we're going to divide that by y plus 5. And of course, that equals 47.8. I missed that out at the top here. So 47.8. So my next step to simplify this, I want to get rid of the y plus 5. So I'm going to multiply both sides by y plus 5. So if I multiply the left by y plus 5, we can get rid of it because that's divided. And then if I multiply 47.8 by y plus 5, what do we get? Well, if I multiply 47.8 by y, I'm going to get 47.8y. And if I multiply it by 5, I'm going to get 239. There we go. So we've simplified the equation even further. So now I want to subtract minus 47.8y from either side. So if I do that from the left here, I'm going to be left with 0.2y. And if I do that from the right, it's going to get rid of all of my 47.8y. So we're going to be left by subtracting the minus 47.8 from each side with 0.2y plus 235 equals 239. So nicely simplified. Next, I'm going to, let's simplify it further. We can subtract 235 from each side, and that's going to leave us with 0.2y, get rid of the 235, equals 4. 239 minus 235 is 4. So 0.2y is equal to 4. I could multiply both sides by 5 to find out what y is, or I could do 0.2y divided by 0.2. That's just going to equal y. And then if we do 4 divided by 0.2, divide both sides by 0 0.2, we'll find that y is equal to 20. So we're not at the end of the answer here. This would secure you two marks, but we now know that y is equal to 20. So 
What's the total abundance? Well, 5 plus y, the total abundance must be 25. So our percentage of titanium 46, the abundance of titanium 46 as a percentage, must be 2 over 25 times 100. Because we know the ratio was 2. We know the total abundance was 25. So 2 over 25 times 100. And the answer is going to be 8%. The 0 0.08 times 100 is 8%. All right, guys, thanks for watching. 